So you're planning a vacation, you want to go to the beach, you want to go, you know, someplace nice and you don't know how to prepare yourself in terms of you want to make sure that you appear flatter. You want to make sure that you drop the water weight. You want to make sure that you are looking good on the beach. So here's some tips and tricks on how to prepare for that day. If you're new to my channel, make sure that you go ahead and hit the subscribe button because I often drop gems. So th I thank you again for those of you who often tune into my platform and do me a favor. If you haven't done so already, make sure you go ahead and hit that like button. All right. So we want to make sure that while we're prepping or we're getting ready for our vacation, we want to look as flat, as lean as possible. We want to look good for the beach. But realistically, you definitely have to make it a lifestyle change. But if you need something temporary, there's always solutions and ways to just maneuver around what's going on temporarily but unfortunately don't get so caught up on the results that you're getting because it's not going to be long term long term will be more so focusing on your diet focusing on being in a healthy caloric deficit and eating balanced meals healthy balanced meals which i can help you out on my website mentalfitness.com i have my virtual ebook available that helps to give you tasty healthy recipes and also we have online coaching where there's virtual videos if you're purchasing an exercise plan i definitely check up on you often and then there's also the meal plan that's available on, on my website so if you want something more long term and you want to be happy with your results long term it's definitely making it a lifestyle change now i'm also going to mention this speak to your doctor before you're implementing anything new into your routine first thing first i'm going to talk about my bikinis i got the yellow yellow bandu top with the bikini bottom i purchased that from amazon and the one thing i loved about that was i didn't have to buy them separate they came together they have options to buy it separate but again it's a lot more affordable where you have the option to just buy the top and the bottom together without paying any additional extra fees or costs it was super inexpensive and it looks super cute too one of the tricks when it comes to making sure that your bikinis are looking good even if you're not spending a fortune on them is definitely dropping the water weight one way to do that is making sure that we're being in a healthy caloric deficit at least two to four weeks prior to going to the beach or on a vacation that way we can make sure we look as flat as possible while we're on the beach this is why i hate and because it's not realistic like you got to be super strict and then you're going to make sure that you're monitoring what you're eating this is the plain diet where you got to monitor your condiments how much oil you're putting into your food the non-stick spray instead of regular oils you're going to be definitely staying to the t with your macros because you want to look as flat as possible or as lean as possible for your special day your meal plan is going to be super boring like just chicken breasts and spinach baby spinach a balsamic vinegar things like that you won't really have no fun when it comes to eating pancakes in the morning forget all about that stuff definitely is making sure that your macronutrients are to the T when you're trying to lose water weight and trying to look good for the beach as well. Black and white, that is also from Amazon. Super inexpensive, the quality is good. I love how it fit. Um, the only thing is like the bottoms was a, were, the bottoms were a bit wide for me, but definitely, I, th I feel like it complemented my body type really well and there was no slippage. In terms of the low like V-line, there was no slippage. So that's what I loved about that. Tip number two in pe preparing for vacation is definitely exercising. When you're exercising, you don't want to focus too much on cardio and you don't want to focus too much on weight training on weight training you want to do both you want to make sure that you create a healthy balance of both i would recommend this three days of cardio two days of lifting and incorporate one day active rest active rest isn't performing strenuous activity it's just hey you want to go walk down the street with a friend or you know walking around the mall that could be considered an active rest if you're walking around for an hour or two cardio what type of cardio you do you can do interval training as far as walking up and down the hill you can do you know steady state cardio i prefer steady state cardio first thing in the morning on an empty stomach 
that is something that um, you can incorporate when it comes to definitely looking as flat and as lean as possible. And it's important to touch as much muscle groups as we, as we possibly can. I know right now we don't have the gym available to us, but we can do our best with what we have. Some creative, I took the picnic table and I was lifting that and I squat. And I also used the picnic table to squat. So we can do that. We can use our outside environment. A lot of my women who have thicker legs like me, when I was a lot younger, I felt self-conscious whenever I used to go into the store and I would try on clothes. You know, you look good at home, but when you go into the dressing room, it's something completely different. You see all the cellulite, you see all the fat, and you think, oh my God, when did I let myself go in this way? So in order for your legs to look nice and toned and lean, it's definitely focusing on um, weight training for those legs. So what I like to do is squatting with the barbell and gradually incorporating progressive load was another important thing for me too when it came to weight training and making sure that my legs look nice and lean. So we wanna make sure that we're doing the best that we can to definitely get that water weight down. But at some point, you don't wanna do anything that's not going to challenge you. You wanna make sure that we put ourselves in a position where what we're doing is challenging, but yet we can come back the next day to work out. You know yourself better than anyone else. So that is one tip that I can give you. Going on to the remaining of my bikinis, everything else I got from ASOS. As some of you may remember the red bikini top with the bikini bottom, I had that last year. I purchased that last year, but I think it was super cute and it's super convenient. I didn't know if I could fit into it again because I know my um, chest size was a lot smaller when I did wear that, but you know, I definitely was able to fit into it. So I was feeling confident, feeling good in my bikinis, you know, kudos to all the hard work that I put in. I love the colors, bold colors, the red and black, the red and black bikini I really do enjoy. In the past, I've never purchased one piece bikinis, but I like the little trendy styles that they have um, that are out there now. And I wanted to try something different. So this is why I definitely went into a one piece. This one I like, it was pretty cute, sleek and just, easy to put on nothing difficult super inexpensive when you can buy a one piece that's cute and it's, it's pretty much a swimsuit a one piece swimsuit going on to the next swimsuit that i have is going to be the neon green and black ralph loves this at first i was a little bit i was not sure how this would complement my body because when i tried it on for the first time i was just like eh, uh, i don't know but something about it ralph just loves it i don't know if it's the colors or what you know but the, this one was pretty comfortable all of the outfits or all of the swimsuits that i have were pretty comfortable so i have no complaints there so now that you've definitely got that out the way the last resorts are going to be the little the little neoprene shorts that we have out there that's going to help to get rid of the water weight it's mag sauna belts on my website magdacivilfitness.com go ahead and check that out and you're also going to make sure that <laughs> This is something that I want to be very careful about when I mention this because some people like to take this and run with it, but none of this will work if your diet and exercise routine isn't on point. You got to make that sacrifice now. And if you want to get rid of a little bit of water weight, if you want to look into some water pills to drop some of the water weight, that is another option. Something that I would do, I would incorporate the water pills or I will also incorporate like some fat burners to help to drop some of the water weight and help to speed up that fat burning process for that specific day. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, it's only temporarily, it's not long term. So please don't come at me if you are okay by your doctor and you try all of this and you say, look, Mag, I did it. I look good for that day, but now I gained it all back. Yeah, you did because it was only temporary. All right. As I continue to tell you some tips and tricks, I want to get into the next, which is the green one. I like the green swimsuit with the cutouts on the side and it was super sleek. Again, it was comfortable, ASOS, inexpensive, and it was on sale. I don't know if it's because of this whole pandemic situation that you know most of the items were on sale but yeah they were on sale so the last bikini that i have is all black it's like a racer bikini with the under boob showing if this is my first time trying to under boob bikini i'm kind of like okay i was a bit curious at first oh well 
when I purchased the one piece with the under boobs, I, my thought process, I couldn't help but to think, wow, like everything is going to slip out. But no, nothing is slipping out. Everything is secure. Um, it's just a little bit of boobies that is po poking out of the bottom, but it's not like too much. That one is not my favorite. I don't know if it's the cut of the bikini or the style of it, but it wasn't really my favorite. So I thank you for watching my video. I hope that you I hope that you were able to take away from the knowledge that I could provide to help you when it comes to reaching a goal. And as always, don't be a stranger. Hit me up on my website, MaxSilverFitness.com for your coaching, online coaching needs. And currently, right now, I'm not doing one-on-one -on -one personal training, but I am doing online coaching. So if that's something that you're interested in doing, definitely hit me up. I'll be here with you. I'll be, I'll be here for you. And again, I thank you so much for tuning in. And let me know which one was your favorite suit. And I thank you again. I'll see you next time. Take care. Hey.